The first product that they're gonna administer here is oral meloxicam. This is a pain management drug for uh, branding and castration. The nice thing that you see here is the administration. They get the, the hook right into the corner of the calf's mouth. So that deposits the product at the back of the mouth. That way the calf isn't spitting it out. That way he's going to get the full effect of the product. And again, this is, is good management practices. It's animal welfare. And we're looking after pain control here. The next step in the process is implanting. What we want to do is have a clean needle go into the back part of the ear, take the needle, pick up the skin, insert that needle subcutaneously in the middle third of the ear. And what we'll do is, is push the plunger, deposit the implant under the skin of the ear, and then run our finger over top of it to feel the proper placement and, and just pinch off that entrance point. Now we're ready to vaccinate. This is our eight way with somnus or black leg as it's commonly known. What you can see here is they're, they're doing it in the neck region. Uh, you'll see a triangular region uh, that we want the proper placement. They're tenting the skin, picking up the skin, uh, inserting that needle subcutaneously and injecting the product. The other thing, um, we're not going to do two vaccines here in the neck, but if we were doing that, we would want to have at least a hands width apart from our black leg vaccine and our modified live vaccine. And ideally, if we were placing it in the neck, we would want our modified live vaccine on top and the placement of the killed or the black leg vaccine on the bottom. And again, a hand width apart. One thing that we ask producers not to do is vaccinate in the armpit of the calf. We know it's an easy place to get to, but there's a lot of blood vessels and nerves and it can cause irritation as that calf starts walking and can cause some swelling and irritations. We've administered the, the black leg va vaccine subcutaneously. Now we're going to administer the internasal or modified live product. So what we do is we take the cannula, insert it into the nostril, Read the label. Uh, some of these products can be given one cc in each nostril or two cc's in one nostril, but read the label. Uh, put the cannula in the nostril, pull the plunger, administer the vaccine, and it just ad adheres to the mucosal membranes in the, in the nostril, and the calf is vaccinated. When you administer the vaccine, some of these calves might sneeze. That's a normal reaction. Uh, don't worry about it. The vaccine has adhered to the mucosal membranes and the calf is vaccinated. Here we're going to start tagging. You can see they've got a visual ID tag. One nice thing here is they're going close to the base of the ear away from the implant. You can see right by her thumb is where the implant would have been placed and she's going behind that. The next tag is our RFID tag. Here's another very well-placed tag towards the base of the ear using the top of the ear versus the bottom part where that tag could maybe get caught on something. They're placing it on the top, so hopefully retention is better with this type of placement. What's really nice at this branding is they're using uh, marker tags. Everybody that has a process that they're doing, they do their process, but then, then they mark that calf. With their, with their individual marker. So it's a nice visual ID at the, at, at the end of the process is just to make sure everything has been done before we let that calf up.